am always looking for ways to save time creating videos. Let's be honest, I still have a really hard time finding time to plan, shoot, uh, edit, publish. I've been using a couple of tools lately that I wanna share with you because if you can save time, in your video creation, then you can create more videos faster that will grow your channel. First tool I wanna to share with you is Descript. It's evolved quite a bit recently, and in the last few weeks, I've been kind of diving in and, and finding all these like new features. For example, I'm recording into Descript right now. I'm recording directly into my camera with my microphone and into Descript, and it's transcribing everything on the fly as I go. And and what's really cool about that is I can then edit as I go. So if I mess up my words, which I do a lot, um, then all I have to do is hit stop on my recording and then just highlight those words, get rid of them, and they won't be in my final edit. So I'm kind of editing my video into a rough draft as I record. Do you know how much time that has been saving me. It's mind blowing. Of course, you don't have to record into Descript. You can record your videos like you normally would and then upload them to Descript, let that transcribe them, and then you just edit based on the words that you're seeing. You can edit with a normal like timeline editor like you normally would in, you know, in a normal video editor. Seeing the words, and especially if you mess up your words a lot and repeat yourself a lot and restart your sentences, a lot, you visually can see that in your transcript and all you have to do is highlight them and just delete it. So it's a really fast way to create a rough draft. And what happens once you have your rough draft, you can export this Descript uh, like project as a Final Cut project or a Premiere Pro project. That means all you have to do is open this up in Final Cut Pro and it's it's a project. Like everything is all there for you as the rough cut. The idea of um, just kind of starting and stopping and editing as I go makes it so much easier for me to have a video where I'm just kind of talking off the cuff and going without having a script at all, which is very unlike me. I'm learning about myself as a creator that having a written out script just makes me feel like comforting, comforted. There's an addiction to perfection there that I'm trying to um, overcome because I want to create more videos on my channel. And if I'm giving myself roadblocks by scripting everything word for word and having everything just perfect, it doesn't happen as much as I would like it to. And don't get me wrong, I'm still a huge fan of scripting your videos and it's what I teach my clients and students inside of Social Video Pro, my 30 Days to a Thriving YouTube channel course. But I think scripting the beginning and the end is really critical, but the inside stuff, like the meat of the content where you're talking about the actual stuff doesn't have to be word for word. I just recently upgraded from the Descript free version to the paid version, the creator level. I'll put a link directly down below this video so you can check it out for yourself. And I'm really curious where Descript is going to go down the road because I'm loving where content creation, video creation and editing is headed because honestly it, it has take it takes so much time to create videos we need a revolution I'm here for it the next tool that I want to share with you is something I'm also using right now which is eCam live and I'm using it to record along with Descript because I can switch back and forth between my screen and my camera while I'm talking so I'm editing as I go again editing as I go freaking brilliant. So if you watch my channel a lot, you know I frequently do um, screen recordings, tutorial type things. I just recently published one where I was showing my iPhone screen as I was recording. I did that through Ecamm because you can plug your phone in and record your screen. You could do it with your iPad. You could do it with however many monitors and whatever you want to share on your screen. And then you can flip back and forth. It reminds me of more like if I was doing a live stream and I was going to flip back and forth between myself and my screen or, you know, other scenes and so forth. It's just a different way of recording a YouTube video and I kind of like it. And I started using Ecamm several months ago for recording my YouTube videos long before I was using Descript um, because, okay, so 
I'm using my camera. It's connected to my computer. It's a, a Canon M50 Mark II, and I'm using my Elgato Cam Link. It's plugged in so that it's doing all the stuff and I can control it um, from my computer, right? Love it. Brilliant. The problem with recording from your camera through your computer versus if it wasn't connected to the computer, then all I have to do is like hit record and start talking to it, right? But with it through the computer, I have to switch it over to like the HDMI mode. I have to switch back and forth. And I use this camera as my webcam for Zoom calls or a Google Meet. So in addition to recording YouTube videos, I have to keep switching back and forth, which, which this sounds so lame, but it requires me to get up from my chair, walk around to the camera behind my desk, go into the settings and actually change the settings, which also involves having to unplug it. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't really take any extra time, but if I forget to switch it back, then I jump on a Zoom call with a client or you know, my Q&A calls with the uh, Video Pursuit Society or something, and I have forgotten to do that, and now they can't see me, and I have to fiddle with it, and it's just like, it's, it's a waste of energy is what it is. By using Ecamm to record my YouTube videos, my talking heads, my recording of my screen and whatnot for a simple video, uh, it just saves the time and the hassle of having to switch back and forth between having it in HDMI mode and having it in whatever, I don't know what they call it, just the regular shooting mode. Now, unfortunately, Ecamm is a Mac only platform um, and which I love it, it's amazing. If you have a Mac and you're not using it, you can live stream with it. You can record with it. Um, it's just, it's a very convenient and easy to use piece of software. Um, but I think you could do this same kind of concept with other platforms like OBS, if you're using a Windows machine, where you can record but easily switch back and forth between yourself, your screen, and then like I don't, I don't even know the correct terminology, but like poured it into Descript. That's, I'm sure that's not the right word, but you know what I mean. The third time saving tool that I think you're gonna wanna know about, especially if you're doing YouTube shorts or other short form content like TikTok or Reels is repurpose.io. Oh my gosh. When I first started doing um, TikToks, short form videos, like whatever, like that kind of stuff, um, I was doing TikToks and then I was downloading it, uploading it to another site to remove the watermark and then uploading it to Instagram Reels and then uploading it to YouTube Shorts. And I just, I often just wouldn't do that. And so what was happening was I was uploading videos to TikTok because TikTok is fun and then really not repurposing them to the other platforms because I had to do it manually and I just was too lazy to do that introducing repurpose.io and now it can happen automatically, no watermarks, no nothing, just boom, automatically set up like that. Repurpose.io, huge time saver. And you know, I, the way that short form content is right now, I mean, if you're going to do it on one platform, you might as well repurpose it to the other platforms in reach a new audience there or connect with your audience there. I don't know. I mean, it just kind of makes sense to me. So here's to creating more content faster so that you can grow your audience. And at the end of the day, I'm always going to say the best, easiest way to save time on creating your content is to simplify the creation of your content. Take out as many steps as you possibly can. Decomplicate your whole entire workflow and process and ask yourself, how could you make it easier? Or if you say, I don't have time to create videos this week, how how could you, like, what could you create this week? What do you have time to create this week? Because let me just tell you from somebody who's been doing this for a very long time and who does it full time, but has not really been consistent on YouTube lately this year, like this like the last two years, um, you can put content creation off as long as you want to. Don't make any videos at all. You're probably not gonna get the results that you wanted when you started out on YouTube. 
Right. I speak from experience on this. So if you have time-saving tips for me, I would love to hear about them so that I can test them out and share them with the rest of my audience here as well. If you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh, and on this channel, I help you make videos that make money, and I do that by teaching you how to build a YouTube channel, a profitable YouTube channel, without spending forever creating videos. I have a whole series on this, so I have queued up that whole series that I have over here for you. Plus, I put it down in my pinned comments.